Welcome to my laboratory. I am Dr. Fran Wunzenberner, and in my special laboratory, we observe science experiments in order to learn more about the Word of God. I actually began today's science experiment last week. I took an egg out of the refrigerator, a raw egg. We have hard shell. The yolk is moving inside and I placed it in a jar, then covered it with vinegar. I let it sit in the vinegar all night long. Then the next day, I poured the vinegar off and put fresh vinegar on the egg. Now comes the hard part, waiting. Yes, the egg has to sit in the vinegar for seven whole days. Together, we are going to see what the egg looks like now that the whole week has passed. This is the egg. Here's the egg that was in the vinegar. Here is a raw egg. Oh my, it's gotten quite a bit larger. Let's see about the shell. Let me tap on it. The shell is gone. It has completely dissolved. And the inside of the egg is now squishy. It's rubbery. The egg has pickled. Now. What can we learn about the Holy Scripture from observing this experiment? When we are patient and persistent, we kept putting the vinegar on it, we were able to cause a tremendous change in the egg. Now, when we are introducing other people to Jesus Christ, we must be patient too, and we must use the Word of God to make a difference. Tremendous change can happen in our whole community when the people of God speak the truth about Jesus Christ and live lives that honor God. That's what Paul did in Ephesus. He spoke and spoke about Jesus and one by one, the people became believers. And when the people became a believer in Jesus Christ, they threw away their silver idol. And when they threw away their silver idols, the silversmith started going out of business, which caused a change in their whole community. Now let me ask you a question. If on day two or day three, I had said, I don't want this on my counter any longer. I'm gonna pour the vinegar off. It's probably done. What would have happened? The shell would still have been there some, and the inside of the egg would not have been pickled yet. Now what would have happened if Paul said, I am tired of speaking to you people. I've had enough. I am out of here. Then the community of Ephesus would not have been changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Patience and persistence in speaking the truth about Jesus Christ can change a whole community. I am Dr. Fran Bunsenbrenner. That's our experiment for today. Join me again next time as we observe another experiment so we can learn more about God's Word.